family, welcome back to another UCT race tour. So today we will be looking at my domain, Salt River. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Emily and I'm here to bring you informative UCT race tours. So basically I go around to all the UCT races and then I take videos and then I show you guys what it looks like on the inside. After my last video on my domain ops, a lot of you, by a lot of you, I mean two of you, commented on the fact that my domain Salt River is so much nicer. And in the beginning, I was in disbelief because how can one res be so much better than the other when they're like under the same company, you know? A lot of you might not know this, but they're trying to gentrify a lot of the areas in Cape Town to attract the rich people. So those areas include Morbray, Woodstock and Observatory. So you can see that there is like a dilapidated building. Right next to it is like a really, really fancy new apartment building. My domain Salt River used to be a factory building for the textile industry. Source, trust me bro. <laughs> okay. Source, the taxi driver who told me on the way there. When I got to the My Domain in Salt River, I couldn't help but you know to compare the two reses, you know. So comment down below on what you think is the better res and enjoy the video. Thank you. My Domain Salt River is situated on Main Road, so it will be very busy. And as soon as you walk in, you can see this My Domain Express shop situation. And guys, honestly speaking, it's not the best. Fortunately, there's a spa 200 meters away from the res. And yeah, no offense if you own the shop, but why are the shelves empty? Like, brother, please. This is a tacos shop, but you can't buy from the place. You have to order online. Check out their website if you're interested. So my domain Salt River is one of the newest reses of UCT. So when I say it's new, I mean like 2019 new. And on the left hand side, we have the reception. And on the right hand side, we have the common room, which you can't get in on the ground floor, which is quite inconvenient in my opinion. And now we have the parking area and that's the dustbin room. So there's a lot of parking space for you at My Domain Salt River. Unlike the other two My Domains, Salt River doesn't organize transport for you to get to a jammy stop because it's so close to the Rochester jammy stop. And there we have the laundry room, which you also can't access on the ground floor. I'll show you later. So this is the route that you take to walk to the Rochester Jammy stop. So you go to Rochester House and take their Jammy, which I think is actually quite convenient. It's really close. As you walk into the reception, it's giving the same vibe as My Domain Obs. There's nothing too special, but you can see that they've put in a lot of effort in decorating the place. Each floor at My Domain Salt River is color coded, and this is shown on this little picture card here on the right. Look at these two hands holding, it's giving Ubuntu, you know, and even this waiting area is really, really cute. So most of the common rooms, like your laundry room, your entertainment room, the gym, is on the ground floor. However, you can't get access to these facilities from the outside. You have to walk through reception, go to the first floor, and then go downstairs to the ground floor again. This is the common room that you see that's on the left hand side of the building that's directly opposite the reception area. On the left hand side we have the kitchen and the bar and that's the game room and over here we have like a sitting room which they have converted into a study space for the exams. This is the fanciest entertainment game room that you will see at UCT because everything is still in working condition, all the balls are there and they even have these machines that's giving like I don't know black mirror vibes, I don't know these fighting games. Since I like things, obviously I had to go and fiddle with the buttons on the machines and I tried to start a game and it was just not working, maybe I was doing it wrong. 
As you get out of the game room, on the left hand side, if you walk down, then you'll get the gym. Guys, and they really put a lot of effort in decorating the place. Like, there's like paintings and these canvas things like everywhere. There's a notice outside the gym that's identical to the one that's in OBS. It basically says that you're only allowed to work out in the gym if you live in the actual residence. If you're a visitor, you're not allowed to use the gym. There's a board there that like shows you like the circuits you can do and stuff. There's even a water cooler situation. So the extra thing about this gym is that it has this dance studio aerobics class mirror ballet situation dance room yoga mat thing going on which is really cute. This is the sitting room and also the common room and it's also used as a venue to host UCT residence parties if they do have any. Guys, please look at this flat screen TV. Look at how big this TV is. It was huge. I'm not sure if you can see. And this kitchen, guys, it's so cute. So everyone's allowed to use this kitchen. And there's the double door fridge and also a dishwasher right next to it. I'm not sure if people wash their dishes here though. I feel like it's a lot of admin. Remember, each floor has a color. So now we're on the first floor and we're on our way to the laundry room. Guys, it was so far. Like the laundry room in OBS, you have to pay 15 Rand every time you switch on the washing machine and 15 Rand every time you switch on the tumble dryer, which is something I really dislike. I don't rate this whole thing of paying to do your laundry. It must be free, guys, please. So now that you see all the doors are green, we're on the second floor. And now we're on our way to Jada's room and she especially cleaned her room for us. This is a classic studio. So there's another type of studio called the premium studio where like the corridor that you see now is a little bit wider, which I don't think makes too much of a difference. Guys, look at this double bed. Look at this double bed. I am obsessed. Which res? has a double bed please and this tv which res will give you a tv also my domain if you're watching this please clean your windows yeah the windows need help asap and this is the working desk very productive love the bookshelves love the heater However, the cupboard, the fact that the cupboards don't have doors like the ones in OBS, it's really, I don't like it. I guess it has that extra narrow door, but I want cupboard doors, please. And this fridge is taller than the one in OBS as well. So the stove came with a place, but not that cheese melter thingy. If you know what it is, yeah, it didn't come with a place, obviously. This bathroom feels very packed, like it feels very tight, but it's fine. The room that you're about to see is called a twin unit. So there's another type of room that has two beds in it and that's called a deluxe two bedroom. And you can check that out on their website, but I couldn't manage to find anyone who lived in these type of units, which is why I was so grateful when I found Nobantu at the gym and she told me that her friends are at home, but they're willing to let me look at their room. So thank you to the friends who are at home that allowed us to, you know, invade their space and record so that you guys can see what a, you know, twin unit looks like. Also, what's really convenient about Salt River is that it doesn't require you to use your fingerprint at the door, but instead it's like a passcode. So if you left something in your room, then your friend can just get it for you and get into your room using your passcode. Obviously, you're only going to tell your passcode to the people that you trust. 
so now we have another classic studio it has a three-quarter bed instead of a double bed i think that's because the pole is in the way so even if you go on their website they will say three-quarter subject to availability so yeah just be careful and get there on time so that you can pick the room that you want but this person doesn't mind a three-quarter bed and also another thing about salt river my domain is that they have different wi-fi's for different floors for maximum network which i think is really good because they don't use eduroam and eduroam is the bomb.com I really like this study room because it feels like an office and over there we have a private one-man study room type of situation and the view i mean it's okay you know there's no table mountain and here are the telephones that they let you use for 10 minutes at a time but if there's no one in line then you can use it for as long as you want so you can call anyone and we are now approaching like the productivity area. This is a small kitchenette with a microwave just before we get in. You can see that they've put in a lot of effort in decorating the place again. And this is a printing room. And over here we have a lounge type of waiting room. I love it so much. It's giving like, let's drink a whiskey and let's sign some contracts and make some money. I guess this is like the offices back when it was a factory. And this is another study room with boards. I love boards. Also, if you're a tutor, I feel like that will help a lot. I love this international vibe. It's so pretty. I love it. This is the main study room. This is the biggest study room that they have over here. Oaks are grinding during VAC. You know how coarse be. And I love, love this view. It's giving you like motivation to build a bright future for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Despite the fact that everyone has those electric induction stoves in their rooms, the res has also provided like a really spacious kitchen for you to cook you know if you're trying to cook a lot of things at the same time also these stoves are gas stoves so i'm sure they work during load shedding as well i really love this space it feels like a consumer studies classroom Finally, we have, you know, the best part of any my domain res, the rooftop, okay? Welcome to hashtag MD living. It's giving like love island, you know, those hashtag love, hashtag kiss. The view, however, we've seen better. Like if you watch my other videos, you know we've had better views. This pool is smaller in comparison to the my domain obs one. However, it has a pool. It has a five-a-side football pitch. Let's be grateful for what we have. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And if you want to check out my other videos, please do. Please don't forget to comment, subscribe, and like. Love you.